This is stock number HJ177. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Your new and used Jeep Wrangler headquarters. Today we are excited to announce and show to you one of the first Jeep Wrangler Unlimited JLs in the state of Wisconsin for sale. This is a 2018 Unlimited JL Rubicon package. And from this HD video, you'll get a really good idea of the overall look of the vehicle, some of the options and features of the vehicle, and just get a really good idea of the overall uh, you know, design and, and everything that's going on and what's new. Obviously, the whole vehicle's been redesigned for 2018. This one has the color matching top, and it is a Rubicon package. You get the painted and polished aluminum alloy rims and they have BF Goodrich all-terrain TA tires. These are LT 285 70R17s. Has a good tread pattern on it. Really like what they've done with the front fenders. You got the LED running lights in the fenders now. And those are also your turn signals. This one has the LED lighting group. So you get the LED fog lights, you get the LED running lights or uh, headlights and the halo running lights there. You can see that the front grille is slightly um, bent backwards a little bit. That's to help the overall aerodynamics of the vehicle. And they've also put the front windshield back just a little bit, angled it back to increase the or decrease the drag on the vehicle. Firecracker red is the color. Very good looking vehicle. The Rubicon gives you the rock rails on the bottom there. Has the LED tail lights. Also the LED reverse lights. This one has backup sensors on it. The LED license plate light. And now the, all the Wranglers come with backup cameras. Always was a kind of a point about the Wranglers. They never had, you know, a negative point about the Wranglers. They never had the backup cameras. Well, now they have backup cameras. And they're one of the best looking backup cameras on the market. As we take a look back here, this one has the Alpine sound system. They put the so subwoofer on the side now, so it's not in the floor from 15 to 18 in the JKs they had it in the floor and before that they had them on the side here which kind of took a lot of room away but by putting them there it's not in the way you don't lose any space and you also don't lose your storage area underneath the back here they still have the door hinge bolts and the roof bolts and now the windshield bolts since they've made the windshield easier to get down back here what I like is that they have a spot now for your electrical and your windshield washer fluid to go in when you have the hard top off. It was always a pain having that, having these cords kind of dangle there. You didn't really know where to put them. And if it was, if it got wet or something, you didn't know what was going on. Now you can put them right in here. They stay put kind of out of the way. They changed the design of the uh, hard top interior. It's kind of like an eggshell design now. But for the most part, the hard top comes off in the same way. They got three bolts on this side, three bolts on this side. I haven't seen the top, but I can imagine there's one on each side, just like the old ones. They got the uh, painted, you know, cross members there. Roll cage, I guess you could say. But they got those painted, looks really good. Looks really good with the top off. They also made this back gate magnesium so it's lighter it's a magnesium and aluminum alloy there they also put this little stamp on the back of here so you can see put a little bit of informa information on here such as uh, developed in Auburn Hills Michigan built in Toledo Ohio they got information such as water fording you can do 30 inches at 5 miles per hour and then they have the overall and wheelbase lengths for both the two-door and the four-door model so you can see this one's got 
0.2 over, overall wheelbase. Let's go around to this side of the vehicle, very clean. They've added on the door hinge bolts, which, uh, which torques you need. So they got the T50 there, so you don't have to guess at which one you need for the doors, kind of a neat feature. This Rubicon has the leather interior package. You can see you get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest, the red stitching on the seats, has the driver's seat height adjuster. Both of these seats are heated. Factory floor mats, power windows, they change the door handle a little bit. You have your mirror controls right there. First thing you'll notice is that they got the uh, seven inch TFT display in here now with the digital speedometer. You have your temperature on the left, your fuel on the right, you have your outside or your compass on the left and you're also your outside temperature on the right up there. And then you have your odometer on the bottom. The leather wrapped steering wheel you can see has the red stitching on the steering wheel. Bluetooth audio controls on that side, cruise controls on this side. They've redesigned the steering wheel a little bit and they've also given you the option to have the heated steering wheel which this one does have. This one also has the 8.4 touchscreen radio which gives you the factory navigation system. This one is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay compatible. Also has all your Uconnect apps on here and my favorite thing about the new Wrangler, well, one of my new favorite things is this backup camera. Look how high definition that is. It's amazing. You know, that was always one of the biggest gripes for people was that they didn't have a backup camera on the Wranglers. Well, now you have one of the best backup cameras and it's standard on the market. You have your dual climate control, which is also new for the Wrangler this year. Heated seats, heated steering wheel buttons down there. You can do them up here as well. And then your uh, four-wheel drive system has changed a little bit where the buttons are. They got the sway bar disconnect right here and then the front and rear. You can do the front and rear lock at together or you can just do the rear lock if you push it down. It's a little switch here. goes up and down. 4x4 four four shifter on the floor. The 8-speed automatic transmission. They've changed the key fob. It's more of a heavy-duty key fob built really sturdy and strong just like the Wrangler. Also remote start on here. You have the flip out key. If you batteries are dead in this, you can still get into the doors. And it does have the push button start stop. Down here you have your media. So you've got AUGS, a USB, and then a mini USB 3 or USB-C port right there that you can hook up your phone. Um, and that'll charge it and it'll also hook it up to the radio. They got kind of the anodized matte finish red to the dash, which is a really cool feature. Looks really nice. And of course that stitching on the seats there. They haven't really changed much about the front pieces, except that I don't see the little screws that used to have to go up here to screw in the top. I don't see those anymore. But for the most part, pretty similar to the old style. You still have these little clamps up here. Nice little to get make sure that you're in the right place little guide right there. Uh, you have your assistant SOS button up above the light there. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Uh, but those are up there and this is an auto dimming mirror which is really cool as well. We'll take a quick look at the back seat and then we'll check out under the hood. Very cool redesign. Very good looking Wrangler inside and out. These back seats are very clean as well. It does have the latch child safety system. You have more room back here as well for your legs or car seats. Whatever you may be putting back here. There's a 115 watt, 100, 115 volt, 150 watt plug in my bed. There's also a USB and two uh, USB-C chargers back here as well for all your devices. Staying connected is important in the new Wrangler. And these seats do fold down just like the old ones. They got a little flap on them now on the, I see the Rubicon package. The Sport didn't have that, but this one does, uh, which is nice if you need a flat surface. And uh, they go up really nice and easy. And the big part for me is that they don't hit that front seat anymore like they used to, uh, which is just a testament to the more space they have back here. Also on this one, it has blind spot indicators on it. 
So this does have blind spot, cross path detection. Take a quick look under the hood. They've changed the latches here a little bit. Gotta make sure that that hood's down. This is the, uh, the sport hood that they have on here. So you get a little bit better airflow to the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Still has 285 horsepower. And a very good looking Wrangler. But it's a lot faster because of that 8 speed. And it's lighter. You have your prop rod up there instead of down here. So that's kind of neat. And a very good looking Wrangler. We're really excited about these. Glad they're finally here. And if you want to check out a more in-depth video than this, that gives you a little bit more options and goes over the vehicle, some of the differences from this one to the old one, uh, you can tune into our other Wrangler videos that you're going to see. But if you want to make this particular Wrangler yours, give us a call right now, 920-921-0850. Ask for one of our sales consultants to make this Wrangler yours today. Once again, that number is 920-921-0850. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you like it, want to check out more, go to youtube.com slash summit auto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on all those videos and this one. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. A link to more used inventory videos, or uh, I'm sorry, new Wrangler videos like this one on your right. If you haven't been on the website, on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out, and we really look forward to helping with this super clean 2018. Brand new Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Rubicon. Thanks again.